Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the Sankakai modded FTB server. How are you guys doing? It is a wonderful day today. We have so much toast happening. Is that a... yes, good. Good, good, good. Uh, these culinary generators are fantastic and I've taken a bit of toast out of them just so I can eat and give to other people. But they're keeping up quite nicely and this, this redstone furnace is doing amazing. So we have a great power source that goes straight into our island. And then if we come over here, so today Phoebe and I were working on the ME system, which I have built. And I didn't really show much of that or record much of that. I recorded a little bit of the front, like the start of it, but then I realized it's going to take ages, so I kind of stopped recording. And I want to get on to doing the auto mob, mob spawner today anyway. But yeah, we have an ME system, which means I can get rid of all of these stinking drawers. Ruining my life. Like that. Oh, and some leather over here, I don't want to lose that. So yeah, I've just been transferring all the items pretty much from in the drawers into the ME system. Filling up all of these cells. I don't think we'll ever fill these up. Well, we might, but I don't know. I'll have to upgrade the cells. But I don't think that's going to happen for a while. And... Yeah, it seems to be keeping up quite nicely, the power. Uh, so my power has been able to power all of these amazing items. This was a pain in the ass. Um, had to make this to speed up the growth process of these crystals that we needed to make the ME system. Ooh. There we go. Wonderful. So yeah, this... And I also have a uh, crafting grid in here as well, which is really handy. This thing's gonna fill up pretty quick, I feel. <laughs> like, oh, shit. My whole 50 diamonds. But yeah, so today, what I wanted to do is maybe fix up this area a little, make it look a little nicer. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, I might move the items that I have a lot of into barrels or something beside it, like cobble or something. Because. I have a lot of cobble and I, it's just going to clog up the ME system and take up all the space, which I don't really want. So I might have like dirt, cobble, stone, oh, we're still up to there. Yes, I, actually I won't do that, not yet anyway, we might have to do that further down the line, but not yet. So yeah, now I just have this uh, big hole. I don't know if you guys have ever tried to make an ME system, but it is not fun. It took ages. Um, I, I've never made one before, so I really didn't know what I was doing. Usually I just have drawers or barrels whenever I play modded, but decided it was probably better to do something like this. Now obviously I'm not going to keep this as dirt. I'm going to make it look nice and pretty, maybe put some nice wooden things around, I don't know. Maybe move this wall back a little just to open up the space. Yeah, we yeah, that's probably a better idea. And we can have the furnace furnaces still on this side. Which will look pretty good. Bam. And that means we can get rid of that stupid sorting system. I already disconnected the node that was on the back of there. But after I tidy up this space a little bit then we're going to go over here and we're going to make an auto spawner and we're going to connect up our power that runs just there in line with the um, blood altar actually and we're going to put a little auto spawner there so we can get some villages so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tidy up this area and I'll be right back alright so this is where we are at at the moment it's not done uh, at all yet I'm still just trying to figure out where I want to place stuff and what kind of blocks I want to use, because I want it to kind of look nice, but I also want it to kind of look a bit earthy, and but you know, I don't want it to look gross. So I'm thinking of having the floor um, dirt, and I put dirt in a chisel and made this kind of dirt. And I'm planning to mix and match different kinds of dirts, just to make it look a little bit more diverse, I suppose. Um, and right now I'm just trying to find 
something that looks good in here because right now it doesn't look fantastic. I'm not crazy about it. That's not too bad. I like that. But yeah, that means we can get rid of this bit. Um, so I've just kind of been in here for a, a while, just trying to figure out what I like. I'm, I'm going to have to shape this whole mountain around it to make it look a bit better. Uh, but I just want somewhere where I can put my machines, and yeah. So I bring that out, and then bring that out like that. And we can break these ones. Um, yeah. And I'm also going to try and figure out how to compact this a little more, because all this is is just a pulverizer which makes the dust which goes into the redstone furnace which doubles the ore production from the dust which is fantastic but I need a way to hide that. Mm. Yeah I was gonna have machines all over these walls but I don't really have that many machines. I think I might have like yeah one more machine, a rolling machine. I don't think I'll ever use the rolling machine but you know eventually down the line if I get a bunch more machines, then we have places to put them. But right now I don't have that many at all. Uh, no, we have to keep that there. And oh, break that. Put that there like that. Yeah, so building's going well, I think now. It wasn't going so well for a while, but I think it's okay now. How's that look? Server lagging? No. Okay, good. It just seemed like I had a little bit of lag there. Uh, but I, I just want to get this done quickly and then we can go ahead and we can mess around with the auto spawner. Alright everybody, so I have, you know, I've done, I've done a little bit of building, you know, I've done a thing, and now we have this hill that is much larger than the last hill that I had here, but that's only to like hide all of the stone and wires and machines that I have under here. And I think it looks much nicer. It makes it look like it's more of a um, central point to the base rather than just a small little hill on this little island. So yeah, here's the front door. Uh, it This is a um, carpenter's garage door. So you right click it and it opens up and here we are. Wonderful. I decided just to make the whole entire inside thing out of stone and stuff because the dirt didn't really work well with the rest of the blocks and it looked a bit weird and I thought um having it separated like this was pretty cool. Uh, I did steal the garage door from garage door idea from I don't know if it's Chasmic or Chasmic. I think it might be Chasmic but I don't fucking know. Um so I compacted this uh auto smelter thing a little bit more. So you put the ores in there goes into a pulverizer, redstone furnace, and then into this chest. And we will of course have the ME system, which has storage in it. Huh, does that mean I could just grab that and... Oop, it's gone now. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, so that doesn't go in there. I don't know the purpose of that. And also Phoebe gave me one of her division sigils, so in the future we will be making a Cursed Earth mob farm. And here I just made three more redstone furnaces just to smelt some basic stuff. And this wall is going to have a bunch of energy cells on it that we uh, can break and take wherever we want it. And this wall is for our machines, and I don't have that many machines, so that's why there's only this little 3x3 three three area dedicated to it. Uh, but yeah, so now what I want to do oops, go on, is make the auto spawner, which is here. So, pretty easy to make, I think. Uh, definitely can do this reasonably quick, I reckon. Um, and then with the with the spawner, we're gonna put that little villager net thing that I have in my bag of holding in there. Okay, so I now have the raw plastic. That's what we need. Let me make plastic sheets. Let me do that. Let me do that. And blammo, auto spawner. Now. Do I have? I do. I made a lot of. A lot of uh, bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> I made a lot more flux ducks because we were we were out of these redstone things. So I made a lot more of these empty ones and used a lot of my redstone. I need to go caving again to get some more redstone because it's kind of a problem now. <laughs> I don't have much. Okay. 
you turn that way. What if I get this and I tap it? That does nothing. Okie dokie. Is there a way that I can get back in there? Place this so that it's facing this way. I mean, I guess it's not the worst thing. Uh, we'll put it... Oh, this actually works out well. We'll put it... Here. Essence. Makes essence. Um, do we need essence? Oh, it needs essence. Uh, I see. We'll have to work out something for that. I, I remember that now that I needed to um make a little essence farm thing. Oh, that's, that's not incredibly important at the moment. And we'll just yoink. Well, it is actually important, but I want to hook this up first. Okay, so that's going to be our little setup for the time being. Damn, essence, really? How do you get essence? Do I just, um, I think if I remember correctly, you could, there, there was a way to get the, um, experience essence bush things. And then it automatically used them. I think I need another harvester, maybe. Okay, so I looked it up and I realized that we're going to have to use this division sigil much earlier than we anticipated. So basically to get essence, or infinite essence, I suppose, um, es essence is produced every time a grinder kills a mob. And the best way that I know in this game to get a steady flow of mobs is to use the division sigil to, to create cursed earth. Now, that is going to be fun. <laughs> so I might build like a dirt platform out here and we will do the division ritual, I suppose, because Daddy needs his essence to um, make these villages spawn. So I, I guess I'm just gonna do that. I don't. Hmm, I'm trying to find the best place to put it. I feel like over here would be the best place, just over on the water here. Um, it might look a little unnatural, but what can you do? Uh, so basically, the division sigil requires. Uh, very specific, um, very specific things for it to actually work. What did I have silk touch on? I had a silk touch thing at some stage, and I got a bunch of grass with it. Um, maybe I should. Yeah, there it is. Combine these. How much will that cost me out of my uh, experience points? Let's have a look. Too expensive. We can't be done. Okay, it cannot be done. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Well, I guess if we put down some grass and some dirt, then it'll eventually spread over. So get out of here. How much dirt do we have? A bit. So I'm going to look up the exact requirements that um, this needs. And... Oh, do I still have that? I think I do. I think I have a single-use safari net. I do. So... Yeah, I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Oh, it's doing its thing. Oh, this has gone very poorly, Phoebe. I'm coming to look. Alright, everyone. So, I just did a little bit of caving. And I put all of the ores in there. Um, I don't know how to pull this out. I still don't know how that works. Just still iron. If I take out iron, I take out that iron. And it goes to ferrets. I take out iron. <laughs> Oh, whatever. Whatever. Um, basically, I just don't know how to pull this out, and if an ore gets processed that produces something different than, than say, like, pulverized ferrous, then it won't process in there, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, we don't have that many um, resources, like 47 iron isn't good. So I went caving, and I got a bunch of stuff, and it's all smelting there now. Uh, but now, more importantly, we got this um, Division Sigil Cursed Earth kind of mob grinder going on. So all the fans are pushing the mobs towards the center, and this grinder kills them. 
and all their items come up this pipe and up here into these drawers. Um, at the moment we have like singular items tripling and doubling up uh, because I haven't locked them with the key and sorted them out properly which I'll have to do off camera because it's a bit annoying. But more importantly this essence from the mobs that get killed gets sucked up this pipe and goes into this big big old tank. So we have a lot of essence and as you can hear we have done some villager stuff already. Uh, I'll need a way to trap them. Like I'll have to create like a barrier or something because right now they're just running around. But if I put this in here, then we will get the Apprentice Blood Orb, which is uh, one step up from the one we currently have, which is the Weak Blood Orb. Yeah, that's my Division Sigil. Uh, let me check this. Yeah, so that's plenty. Uh, and if we turn this on by putting this in here, then we should get some villages going. Maybe. Here we go. Bam. And we kill them and their essence just gets sucked straight into the uh, blood altar. Where are they going? Okay. <laughs> so now I just have all these villagers kind of running around. I need to um, build a net or something to keep them in. I think they're all running down here because I have a couple stuck underground here. If we just go in here and have a look, I think there's a few. Cause I, I tested it out quickly just to make sure it would work. Well, hopefully they died, because I don't know where they went. I remember it. Ooh. Oh, okay, so there's a hole in the bottom that they're all escaping out of, it would seem. Aha, uh -huh, because I had that um auto spawner down a little lower, and they spawned in that cavern underground, which wasn't wasn't ideal, if I'm being honest. So, cover that back up with the dirt that I don't have. Uh, but yeah, now we have the... I think if we go up here we can reveal... Let me just grab this real quick, so I can cover that back up. But I think we now have... here it is, the Apprentin Apprentice Blood Orb. So with this, what can we do with it? We can put it in an alchemy chemistry set and make binding agents, simple catalysts, uh, lava crystal. We can make a water sigil, which I think allows you to place water anywhere using your blood. An energy blaster. Ooh, I want to make that. Yeah, there's just a, um, a few things and they used a lot in the alchemic chemistry set, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back in there. Uh, there's our little activated division sigil, which is pretty pretty neato. Uh, but yeah, now we have all these villagers just running around, which was a big mistake. So I'm going to have to create like some kind of holding cell. Uh, but we're going to have to do that in the next episode, where we will probably talk to Alex again and uh, do some more do some more blood magic stuff, because it's been about two episodes without blood magic. I'm going to move this down here just to make it look a little nicer. Wonderful. So, thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again in the next episode. Bye-bye.